All right, standard tuning, capo four. Pretty sure this isn't how she plays it exactly, but it's pretty close. I think it sounds close, and someone asked me to do this, so I will. Starts on an A. It just that does that whole opening thing where she's just like, just a lot of chord changes, so I guess we'll go through that part first. So it starts on just a regular A major. And the strumming pattern is gonna be kind of like down, up, down, up. And it changes some, but that's the kind of mood for the whole song, so as long as you stay close to that, it should be fine. So A. Then lift up your bottom finger. So. And then she moves where it's a third and fourth fret on your middle strings. Sometimes you'll hear me do or her do like a little, and that's just with your ring finger bending that down on the G string, on the fourth fret. So, so far it's. And then you're gonna move your pointer finger back one fret to the second fret, leave your ring finger where it is. Put your middle finger on the E string, 3rd fret, so it goes from And then she's going to shift up where you put your pinky on your 5th uh, fret here. And your ring finger stays the same, but these two slide up 1 fret. that kind of interesting chord shape so, so far it's and then a lot of times before the for the next change she'll go and hit the second fret on the B string just really quick right before this shape it's everything on the second fret E string and then G and B string down here all second fret for that kind of resolution so that part is just that's probably the hardest part of the song so she's at that shape where everything's on the second fret and then just to a regular E major Then back to a similar shape as the last one, but not quite the same. It's a E and A string on the second fret, and then a G string all on second fret. Yeah, and uh, your pinky's gonna be on that B string on the third fret. So, so all together from the beginning. Down here. E major. Then that different shape here. Then we go to an E major with a with your pinky still on that third fret B string. Then your ring finger is going to move one fret up, that's the only thing that moves. Then we go to an A sus 4 here, which is an A major with your third finger over, still on this same note. And then she finally resolves that there, so it's like... And that's all three verses are like that, so I'll just go through it one more time real slow.
Again, yeah, I'm not a very good teacher, but these are the chords I play. For the chorus, it's gonna start on a F sharp minor. It's gonna be similar to that uh, E6 shape, but without the ring finger. So it's a uh, open E string, second fret on the A string, open D string, G string is first fret, and then B string is third fret, so. And then this thing where it's E and A on the 2nd fret with the G string also on the 2nd fret. The second version of the shape that you play, it goes straight to that from that A, so. That shape. Then it goes to an A major without your bottom finger. She adds the, the six after. So all together the choruses. I'll just repeat that twice for the chorus. And then after the first chorus, she does a little not like a solo, but like an interlude thing, I guess, where it's an E major shape, taken up to the sixth fret. Then with your third finger, you're gonna hit right below on that fret. Just right on the same fret below it. Back to that same second fret shape with the E and the A. But your pinky is gonna track from the third fret on the B string down to the second to open. So it's like a little walk down right there, and then back to that shape. Same thing as before. And this part's kinda cool. fret that would be it. yeah ninth fret on the G string eighth fret on the B string and you're not like it's not like you're not playing a lot of these lower strings it's just kind of down here and then you're gonna switch out your middle finger for your third finger and then your first finger is gonna move down here so. and then you're gonna take that whole shape and you're gonna move it to the fourth and the second fret And then just back the A for the third verse, so. And that's out of that. And then the only thing really different after that is the end, where she, uh, instead of going to the F sharp minor, she'll just stick with this uh, second fret shape. That's the part of Fuss Courses. In love with your absence, but I've fallen so hard for this space. So over and over. I've got to know the quiet and still for you at a time. Just recycling that. Until the very end where she does that basically. But she sticks the E and does that thing where you move your uh, third finger over to the third fret. And then the. I'm just doing like a slow run through of all the parts. So the verses.
choruses will go. twice in the first interlude. and then after the last chorus, so I'll just play it through the chorus to the end. starts back on that shape. Just till the end. Alright, hope that was at least marginally helpful.